Hello everybody and welcome. This is Ryan923456 and today we are going to be starting a new mod for Mountain Blade Warband, this time being American Revolution 1776. What a better way to be patriotic, right? Now, just a few pointers before I begin. This mod is made by the same individual who created 1860's Old America and I love both of these mods and I believe you will too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna answer no on that. Okay, so male, father was a veteran soldier, spent my early life as a shop assistant and as an intimo became a goods peddler, forced out of my home, became an adventurer, and let's give him a good name, um, John. Pretty boilerplate name right there. Put the strength up, intelligence up, and agility up some. We're going to increase our athletics so we can run. Our leadership so we can have more men. Prisoner management so we can collect prisoners. Inventory management so we can have more stuff. Pathfinding and tracking so we can track people. I'm going to increase the long guns attribute and I want one of those old tiny wigs okay that's good and let's see we're gonna head to Virginia this doesn't look like Virginia I feel like I'm in Switzerland or something Look at all these fine Virginia houses. Hey. I don't know why he was reloading. He had a bigger knife than I did. Okay, and this guy... I never do these quests. Ever, ever, ever. If you're starting out and you need the money, definitely. But... I don't need the money because I'm cheating, and I'm cheating just for the simple fact that it's easier and better for you as the viewer. Oh no, I think you have to have... Oh yeah, let's, get, let's move the pistol. Let's keep the musket cartridges to the rifle. A saber. No, oh, there's so many pistol just to save it'll work. And I'm just gonna sell all this. Don't really need it. Actually Yeah. And we're gonna head into Richmond. Buy some armor and some other accoutrements. Let's see. Tricorn. Is that a tricorn? No. I'd rather have a tricorn. Oh, it's decent. Oh, actually, I'll take, take that one. There we go. Now, let's see. Oh. Arms. Cannonballs. Let's see. Pistol pair. Yeah, we'll go with that. I have two pistols and one. 110 versus 77. We're definitely going to take that. And we're going to hire some troops. And hire some Connell soldiers. A lot of Continental soldiers. Now that we've got a decent sized army, let's start some guerrillas warfare against the British. If we can find any Englishmen. Well, there's one in that fort, but that's the thing, he's in the fort. 
So we're going to camp outside for a while and see if we can't get him to leave his fort. Because attacking the fort right now would be suicidal. We don't have enough men. We don't have nearly enough men. And our men aren't even that experienced. I just now hired them. So we definitely need to catch them out in the open. And here we go. So we're going to follow him around for a while. But he's going a little bit faster than we are. So I'm just going to go ahead and move him in front of him. After all, we have less men, so we have a better view of the terrain. Demands. I'm going to offer you one chance to surrender or die. And now... Two arms! Two arms! I'm going to move the men up. We need to be in a place where we can fire on the enemy. And this is a perfect position to do that. We have the high ground. Because we have the high ground, we will not lose. But they're going to attack. They're waiting for us to attack them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. As much as I would love for the British to run straight into that, they're not going to. They're smarter than that. so ominous. You know, like, it just sounds like we're fixing to run into a defeat right here. I thought we had the high ground, now they have the high ground. And it doesn't matter who you are. Anytime the enemy has the high ground, it's bad. I'm going to dismount and fight with my men like any noble commander should. And hopefully we'll win this thing and we won't get slaughtered. But only time will tell. Well, they're starting to pour their fire into us. Not very accurate. That's historically. Accurate. Seems like a double entendre. But muskets aren't accurate, and that's historically accurate. And I like that. Some people probably complain about it, saying, oh, the muskets, you can't barely shoot nothing with it. Well, now you know how the soldiers felt back in the day. This is bad. Like we're making some progress. I haven't hit nothing yet. Oh, I was going to shoot that guy. We got British! Alright, I got one. I had to get right up close to me to do it. Oh, there's two. Pour the fire into them, boys! Shot. You can hear those balls scream within an inch of your head. I gotta say. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna say I just got shot. And I don't believe my men are gonna be able to win this one. Let's see. 
18 killed, 10 wounded. Well, they were losing more. Okay, well, they were losing, so. Let's see if we can't redo this. First assault. We gained some headway. Oh no, we don't. Or no, they don't. I ain't gonna let those guys move into the high ground. I think they're gonna stay out in the open. Alright, good. It's about time they stood and fought like men. Alright, soldiers, let's do this. Can you imagine running through the water like that? I mean, jeez. Wet up to your hips. And the east coast of the United States is not a warm place to be. Except if you're in like South Carolina or something. So, yeah, that's all bad. Listen to those musket balls whine. <laughs> Positively frightening. Form a line! Form alive! <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna watch. This is perfect. This is pretty much a Revolutionary War battle. Troops. All right. So the British don't like us, <laughs> and for good reason. I'm gonna go ahead and plunder a village. And I don't need the money particularly, and money is pretty much still the main reason people raid villages and stuff. But I believe it's a good idea because it not only increases the morale of my men, it makes the British really mad. Really mad. And there's nothing I love more. And I'm setting some British redcoats. Now I'm going to attack the castle. Even though they didn't have castles back then, it's a fort. Same difference. Same difference. Alright. There's the fort. This is going to be a big battle. But. I have faith in you, men. Jesus. I say, those musket balls whizzing past your head is scary. Oh, and I got shot. I gotta get back. I don't have much help. I get shot. 
shot. I'm done for. One bullet is gonna do it. Man, my men are dropping left and right. Siege. We're gonna head to Baltimore. Baltimore, and we're just and gonna chill there, chill and there. we're gonna rest and replenish our strength. 